Hey folks, John from Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. So I wanted to kind of, the first thing guys, thank you to all the people last night that watched our podcast and that watched my first playthrough on the game Star Sand. Um, that was pretty cool and it's not over, man. I have no idea what's coming. I have not looked ahead on this game. I want to be surprised, but we'll be doing that again next Tuesday. But in this episode, one of my favorite, favorite companies out there for all of our equipment you see on the stage here is Mayano. They sent me something that they said I've been needing for a while. Let's see if they're right. Here we go. So you guys have seen me over the last three years, and I always, audio has always been a challenge for me, whether it's been Stumpy's audio, the primary cameras, or certainly the microphones I've been using. Lately, I've been using the wireless lapel mic that you see here, and it's been the best one ever. We get nice, consistent audio all the way across the board. Well, Mayano has just released a new microphone that is supposed to be even better than the one I'm using. Now, I, it better be good because I'm telling you, I love the Alvoxcom, and I'll put a link down there for the one that I'm currently using that has never failed me. But today, we're going to take a look at the Mayano WM820 wireless lapel mic. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Stumpy take a look at this. Apparently, this comes with one receiver, and it comes with two transmitters. Now, the Alvoxcom that I've been using was the same way. Uh, you had one receiver that you would plug into whatever device, either a phone, a camera, whatever, and then you'd have two transmitters like this one that you could use on either one of them. It was interchangeable. So hopefully it's something like that, but these look, uh, they look a lot cooler. Check it out. So let's crack this open and see what we got in here. That was a, um, a, a very exciting night of gaming, by the way, guys. You know, Lately, getting into these streams, I've been playing games like uh, uh, The Happy's Humble and all that. But this one was actually, I didn't know what to expect. So, oh, wow. Professional audio innovation. All right, let's open this up and see what is in the box. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that packaging. Man, leave it to Mayano. These guys, when they package stuff, they package it right. All right, so we're going to crack this out. We got, don't eat the silica beads. Just kidding. Not going to eat the silica beads. And we got our instructions here. Now, these are, my guess is, pretty basic. You've got a pairing on these to pair them to the devices. Um, transmitter 1, transmitter 2. And the receiver, obviously, it's going to have the plug that's going to go into whatever device you've got. So, it's pretty basic. It's basically the exact same setup I've got here except a newer device. So, let's take a look at these receivers. Man, those are light, guys. They have no weight to them, and they are wireless. So, I'm kind of curious about the battery life, but holy cow. So there are three of these in here, and looking at them, this is going to be your transmitters, and this is going to be your receiver. As you can see, it's got your receiver input and output. So what we're going to do is, let me take a look in the bottom of the box here. Oh, check it out, guys. Audio cable, USB Type-C, and the lavalier microphone. So the microphone, I'm hoping, guys, one thing I have really gotten used to and that I like, and, and it may not be necessary with this mic, is this headband because it keeps the mic at a consistent level. So when I'm moving around or looking up or down, the audio stays the same. Whereas when I had it pinned here, it would work fantastic until I was looking over here, and then the audio would get a little bit low, and I'm trying to eliminate that problem. So let's take a look at the microphone itself. And see what we got going here. And it looks like it's got the same. Okay, so you get two of them in here, which would make sense with two trans or, uh, transmitters. And you get the clip-ons for the lapel. So we're going to give that a try. If not, they do look like I could adapt them to fit this, which we may or may not do. We'll see. All right, going down a little bit further here. Over here, we've got our audio cable and our Type-C USB cable. And that's going to be for charging. And this is going to be audio. There should be two audio cables. Generally, the one for your camera and the one for your phone are different. And yes, that is the case. So if you look here, one will be labeled phone and one should be labeled camera. There you go. So pretty straightforward. Getting into the bottom of the box. Oh, we got a nice little carry case. Now that's different. I didn't get one of those. And a nice little carry case to carry all three of them. That's actually pretty cool. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's just put this to the test. Here's what we're going to do. Now that we got it all uncrated, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sync one of these things up and I'm going to switch the lapel mic 
to this main device, and we're going to record the last half of this video on the lapel mic. I won't even know what this sounds like, guys, or if it even works until we get to editing. That's the best part of this. That way, it's a true test. What you're seeing is what I'm going to see. So I tell you what, let me get this all set up. We'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so now we are actually on the Mayano microphone lapel setup. Um, the setup on this was dirt simple, guys. It was hold down two buttons on the receiver, and it would go into pairing mode like a Bluetooth device. You hold down one pairing button on the transmitter, they would pair up, and then that was all there was to it. It was very, very simple. Now, once again, we're back on a mic that's here, which to me, you know, I, I kind of liked having that option to to put the headphones on and keep it, but I'm fairly certain that I may be able to fit this onto there or use that headset with this microphone. But either way, it seems to work fine. I have no issues with it. Now, when we get this to editing, that's going to be the real test because it, what I'm curious about is when I take audio and I'm looking straight ahead, if I look over here, is it going to make a difference? If I look over here, is it going to make a difference? If I talk down here or if I talk up here? So you guys are going to be able to hear the side-by-side -side comparison with the other one that I was currently using. Um, I suspect that it's going to actually be very good, but without actually seeing it in editing, we're finding out together, which is what makes this channel a lot of fun. You guys know that. Well, thank you for watching. I know this is a short one. I hope you enjoyed it. Mayano, thank you guys very much, guys. I am going to drop a link for this down in the description. This is brand new, and it is fantastic as far as I can tell. The look and the feel, the finish on this thing is great. They're very, very light, um, and I definitely can see myself using it in the future. So if you see me wearing the little square and the little, little microphone here, you know we are on a Mayano for sure. Have a great weekend, guys. Be safe out there. It's freezing here, so if it's freezing there, stay warm. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.